annealing this piece of copper using the oxygen acetylene torch will oxidize the copper. In other words, we'll turn it much darker. Here are three pieces of copper that I've annealed. And I'll be showing three acid solutions that can be used to clean copper. White vinegar is an excellent choice for cleaning copper. It's a weak acid, so it does take some time to clean the copper. But it's something that you probably already have in your cupboard. And if not, it's very inexpensive at your grocery store. Sparex number two is a mild acid solution. And this works much faster than the white vinegar. And it is a chemical solution, an acidic chemical solution that is preferred by many people who work with copper. This is a toilet bowl cleaner. And it's a strong acid, which will work very quickly. For safety, you'll want to use either tongs or rubber gloves. Safety glasses are recommended. And even better is a pair of plastic goggles, because you definitely do not want this acid splashing up into your eyes. Starting out with the weakest of the acids, which is the white vinegar, pouring some into a bowl, and then placing the copper into the white vinegar. Now this is going to take quite a bit of time, probably several hours at least, because it is a weak acid. So we can just put this aside and wait until it's clean. Using the Sparex number two, pouring some hot water into the bowl, then adding the granulated Sparex number two granules, stirring, making sure that the granules are completely dissolved, placing the copper piece into the solution. And this works a lot faster than the white vinegar. Now this is not in real time, but it does work quite rapidly, especially when you consider that it is a mild acid. And this remaining solution with the Sparex number two, I'm going to pour that into a container and I can reuse this. Now here you can see just how fast this toilet bowl acid works. And for me, I'm particularly careful here because I want to wear rubber gloves and also I'm wearing the plastic goggles. I definitely do not want this splashing on me. But this is quick. Here I'm rinsing the copper under cold water to neutralize the acid because I don't want that acid to still be active. So rinsing it under the water will neutralize it. Once the copper is dry, I can clean it up with a piece of steel wool or this small wire brush. Now you can see how easy it is to bring this up to a bright and shiny copper. Now here I'm using the wire brush on a motor and I would definitely use this for larger pieces. This makes quick work of getting the copper up to a bright and shiny finish.